here we go. Like the title says, this will be the highlights of my player, my build, the Hakeem Olajuwon icon in the streets. Um, this was the event, I forgot what the name of the event was, but it was the, against the team of JaVale McGee, uh, Nick Young, and other players. I played a couple couple of games against these guys, so all of them, all of the highlights will be in this game with my build. So I'm really excited, man, for the full game to come out, NBA Live 17. I can't wait till it comes out. I'll be dropping videos for sure, 100%. Ultimate Team definitely is returning. I know this is a bit random, but I just got an iPhone X today. <laughs> Completely not related to this video, but I feel I felt like I just wanted to throw it out there that I just got an iPhone X today because my old phone was expiring. Well, not expiring. The contract's coming up in October, so I had to get a new phone. I got an iPhone X. I have no idea how that thing works. I heard that the fingerprints don't work. You have to use your face. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be a fan of that, but I just went with it. Why not? Something new. Probably I'll get used to it in the future, but as of right now, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get used to that face recognition. If you guys have an iPhone X, let me know how it is for you guys. And I also leveled up while I was playing these street games. And I never used my skill points because I wanted to use it on my rebounding first. And you only get your rebounding upgrades at level 7 with this icon. So I was keeping it. And now that I'm level 7, I'm going to use all my icon points, I mean all my skill points to upgrade my rebounding. Um, I was going to do inside shot at first or layups, but I was like, eh, at this point, uh, on how easy it is already to score in the paint, I didn't want to upgrade it that much. So I wanted to go for rebounding and defense first. So I unlocked rebounding before shot blocking. So naturally, I'm going to go upgrade the rebounding first. I'm going to use all my skill points for that. The first one, you get plus 5% rebounding boost. The second one, you get 5% box out ability. 78, you don't get anything. 79, you get another boost. At level 80, you get a pair of shoes, which is nice. I tried it on, but I ended up keeping the Russell Westbrooks because those are legendary. And I really like the colors of this shoe. Legendary items, I prefer to wear those obviously over regular items because the shoe you got from, I think the upgrade is also legendary if I'm not mistaken, but um, the colorway is all white. Wasn't really a fan of it. So I didn't really want to wear it right now. So I got a good shot contest there. Another one right here, but I finally get the rebound at the end. So right after upgrading my rebounding by six points, by six skill points, I'm sorry. I definitely saw the upgrades. Well, I definitely saw the effectiveness of my rebounding. Look at that. I'm so quick on the rebounds right now. I think I out-rebounded JaVale McGee in every single game that I've played against him. So my rebounding definitely has taken a big leap. I could definitely notice it, which is good. So in the future clips in this video, you'll be seeing some more rebounding, which is awesome because I feel like the rebounding, look at that. Oh my goodness, I just flew in there like a boss. Like sometimes I don't even have to press the rebound button. My character just jumps for it by himself, <laughs> which is awesome because sometimes I forget to press the triangle button or I mistime it, but my character goes for it, which is good. You know, free rebounds for me. I upgraded the rebounding stat, so obviously it's good to see that it actually is worth it. Because I know some skills or some attributes, if you upgrade it, you won't really see a big difference. But in terms of rebounding, you could really <laughs> you could definitely see the, the difference in the rebounding right away. And sorry if I'm choking on my commentary. I haven't done a commentary since I think for two days or a day. And I've recently just came back to YouTube, so I'm still trying to get my commentary back into the flow trying to get it back you know into the groove so if i'm making mistakes sorry about that in advance guys i'm just trying my best low post inside bucket also i'm starting school this week and i'm also working two jobs while trying to do youtube so it's gonna be really crazy so bear with me i'm trying to do my best especially when live 18 i mean sorry live 19 is coming out on friday and 2k 19 is also coming out on friday um you know i have to I feel like I have to post some videos on either of those games, you know, because I'm going to be doing different things, you know, ultimate team, you know, a defensive lockdown on 2K. Not a lot of people are going to be doing that. So I want to be unique, you know, one of the unique channels, unique builds, unique gameplays, you know, try to do my best, like I said, because ultimate team is really fun for myself. So this is why I like playing it and uploading it. 
so I'm looking forward to that you know I'm gonna be opening I'm gonna be doing the pack opening videos um, you know gameplay obviously as well the challenges I'm gonna try to my best to upload all of that this year and also I still have some great NBA Live 18 gameplay that I didn't upload yet so what I'm thinking is every Thursday I'll probably do a throwback Thursday if I can for NBA Live 18 and showcase some awesome gameplay that I didn't upload yet because honestly I have so many amazing gameplays from Live 18 that is just jaw dropping for example I have some Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant 50 point gameplays I have some LeBron gameplays I got some who else do I have I have almost all the players I have Allen Iverson gameplays as well which is really 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 fun to watch because while I was doing those gameplays I was having so much fun so I think you guys will have so much fun as well uh, when I do upload it in the future so um, stay tuned for that that's gonna be something awesome to look forward to so I have a few more gameplays in this video to show um, I think I won most of the games against this squad we won I think three out of the four games that one game we lost was by a couple of points which was my fault but it's okay look at myself getting that mean block right there the noob fell on the floor <laughs> that was a nice satisfactory block so right there we won the game on the layup from the screen and roll that was awesome to see you know I love winning close games it's really exciting teammate does a step back right here I get the rebound like I was saying earlier the rebounding has improved since I upgraded my skill points so it's worth it if you guys are debating on what skill to upgrade upgrade your rebounding you'll be flying all over the place so if you guys are enjoying this video let me know drop a comment drop a like I love to see some feedback it's really appreciated so at least I know what is going on in my videos what I can improve look at that screen the computer fell on the floor <laughs> and my teammate does a layup right there we're up by two points I get another rebound right here it's a close game once again I'm telling you guys close games are fun to play in so right here he goes for the layup I get the rebound over them little noobs I try to put it back but I press the wrong button and right here my teammate is not gonna pass the ball I already know it they want to score the game winner obviously so there it is we ended up winning this game so let me know what you guys think about this video if you want to see more I'm gonna be definitely uploading more this week for sure so stay tuned for that and I also have my 2k videos as well thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed please be sure to share and like this video to stay updated click subscribe and also follow G flash on Twitter